Ali never came back. Four months, all of Rosewood searched, but Ali left us nothing to find. People were starting to lose hope that she would never return, but me, I wasn't so sure. Because I couldn't shake this feeling that Ali was still out there and that she knew the secret hid in my locket. That night at Spencer's Barn was one of the worst of my life. But it was also the night I made the best friends I'll ever have. Ali's secrets brought us together. But it was our own secrets that would keep us close forever. Hannah stopped overeating and got really into fashion, but that led to a new bad habit, shoplifting. I so thought we were busted. Her friend Mona taught her everything she needed to know about stealing. Nice glasses, nice scarf. Ellie was right about Spencer going after her sister's boyfriends. Her sister got engaged to a cute British guy named Wren, but when he came to visit, Spencer charmed him a little too much. You're not like my sister's usual boyfriends. How am I unusual? I actually like you. Yeah. Spencer wasn't the only one hiding a relationship. Arya was too, but hers was a whole different story. Right, now I'm thinking I want to major in English. Guess I can't escape it. My friends always call me the artsy one. What about you? Just graduated, actually. I'm sending my first teaching job this semester. Aria and Ezra moved fast once they met, but nothing could prepare her for what happened next. Welcome to English 201. I'm Mr. Fitz. <gasps> Oh, no. And Emily became really close with Maya, the girl who moved into Allie's house after her parents packed up and left. Are you ready to tell your mom about us? She doesn't need to know everything about me. These were the kind of secrets that were never meant to come out, but one by one, they did. <laughs> Nice shades, Hannah. Do they let you bring accessories to prison? <gasps> Poor Spencer always wants her sister's boyfriends. But remember, if you kiss, I tell. Hmm. <gasps> well, aren't you the teacher's pet? What would your parents think about your new man? Ugh. <sighs> Hey, Em, did you at least get a goodbye kiss? Here's one for me, XO. And A didn't forget about me. Who knew a secret so big could fit inside a locket so small? It'd be a shame if Brian found out but what you've been hiding. We had no idea who was texting us, and the threats were getting worse. Em, you okay? A is ruining my life. Ugh, what did she do now? She said she'll tell mom about Mia, that we kissed. Okay, this is getting out of control. I'm calling the girls. We need to start fighting back. Okay, guys, who the hell is A? I don't know, but she's starting to do more than just threaten me. She told my sister I kissed Ren, which isn't even true. He kissed me. Come on, I can't be the only one thinking this has Allie written all over it. She was always messing with our heads, and now it's like she's making up for lost time or something. Hannah, Allie's gone. Gone, gone. It's been a year. 
We don't know that, Arya. They never found a body. <sighs> Look, I don't really care who A is. All that matters is that we hunt her down and stop her. <gasps> oh no. <sighs> you all get this? Yep. Well, isn't this precious? Five little liars all together. <gasps> you really want to know who I am? Follow the guy in green. What the? What guy in green? Over there! Oh my god, that's Brian! My Brian from Riverbank! What? Okay, this is freaking me out. He's scarier than ever. Did A already get to him? S Scarlet! Oh, um, oh my gosh, Brian! Okay, Scarlet, be cool. Well, well, well. Fancy meeting you here. Hey, shouldn't that be my line? I'm the one who lives in Rosewood after all. Man, I can believe it's been a year. How are you? How am I? I'm nowhere near over you. I'm great. It's amazing to see you. But I think I know why you're here. Aw, oh, man, who told you? Um, what? I just moved here. Remember my aunt from Rosewood? I'm staying with her for a while. Oh, wow, that's great. You look amazing. We have to take a reunion selfie. I'll make our friends back home so jealous. Okay, sure. Ready? <laughs> oh, what's so funny? Do I look weird? No, you look beautiful, but your friend over there looks pretty funny. Oh my gosh. Really, Hannah? <laughs> that was fun. So, Brian, wait, you just decided to move to Rosewood? There's nothing else that you brought you here? I really hope A had nothing to do with this. I heard I could find you here. <gasps> I'd love to talk to you. It's important. Hmm. Shoot, I have to go. My aunt's gonna be home. Maybe there later, after you're done with your friends? We'd have to place to ourselves. Of course. Let me just finish up here, and I'll meet you there. Awesome. Hey, also, I got invited to this party at Noel Khan's house tonight. Are you going? Um, yes, she's going. <laughs> Great. I get to hang out with you twice in one day. That's a good start. Really, Han? What? Ali said to follow the guy in green, who, by the way, is hot. Nice work, Scarlet. He is hot. I've forgotten just how hot, but he's just a friend. Then how come you're smiling like that? Scarlet, this is huge. Maybe you guys can finally be together. Maybe Ari is right. Maybe Brian and I can finally start over. Okay, back to business. Ali said to follow the guy in green, and he's going to Noelle's party. Ten bucks says that where Ali makes her dramatic return, that would be such an Ali move. So wait, we're going tonight? Of course we're going, but that's exactly what A wants. Yeah, I feel like we should talk about... <gasps> Not again. Brian won't be the only special guest at Noelle's party. Find me there tonight, pretty little liars. Or all your ugly little truths will come out. <gasps> Did everyone get this? Yeah. I thought Ali was diabolical before, but this next level. Guess we have to go. We'll find her and make her stop. Spence is right. We're going to that party. Hey, Scarlet. Hey, nice place. Come on, let's go upstairs. <sighs> so this is what it's like to be alone with Brian in his bedroom. I wonder what he has to tell me. I can't believe you're really here. It feels like 
I'm dreaming or something. Well, it's not a dream. Need me to pinch you? Hmm, I have a better idea. Prove it's really you. Okay, easy. We met in third grade. We were supposed to bring in cookies, but you burnt yours. You found me crying and gave me yours. You were so sad and nervous. You saved me that day. Okay, I've got another. You're deathly afraid of melted cheese. True, but I'm trying to work through it. <laughs> See, it's really me. So if I'm not dreaming, then why didn't you invite me here? Uh, it's about Lissa. What about her? Things have gotten bad. The doctor says she's not waking up. Oh my god. I told her goodbye, not like she could hear me. What changed? Nothing. That's the problem. She's not going to get any better. Remember the days when it was just the three of us? Before we grew up and feelings got in the way? Of course they do. Things were so simple. But we were inseparable back then. It's like someone pressed fast forward on our lives, and suddenly it was just me alone in a hospital room with Lissa. I'm so sorry I wasn't there for you. You're here now. I mean, it being with you, it makes me feel so much better. Good. So I have to ask, are you seeing anyone here? Like dating? Definitely not. Good. I've missed you so much. Oh my god, I miss you too. Me too. Every day I wanted to pick up the phone and call you. <laughs> What's so funny? I was so nervous about this, and all either of us had to do was send a text. <laughs> We're ridiculous. I'm glad you came to Rosewood. Me too. So what now? We see where things go between us. Okay, I like that. Scarlet? Yeah? I'm really glad you came over. Me too. And if you're being honest... I should have told you how I really feel years ago, and now that you're here in my bedroom, mm, all I can think about is kissing you. Brian, you're home! Shoot. Uh, she's going to be pissed if she finds you in here. I could sneak out the window. I really don't want to say goodbye yet. How about we hide on the roof? That sounds fun. It has an awesome view, and maybe I can get that kiss. Uh, I'd love to, but I should probably get going. That's too bad. But thank goodness for Noelle's party. Can't wait to see you again. Same here. I need the perfect out outfit for Noelle's party tonight. Let's see. <gasps> I picked out something for you and your friends, little liar. Girls like you should always be dressed to kill. What the... Wait, the dress was definitely not in my closet this morning. Hannah? Did you get the dress from A2? Yeah, are you going to wear it? I already have it on. The dress is super hot. Aria, Spencer, and Emily are wearing it too. Okay, let me try it on. I'll try... Eh, I look fan in it. Something... Something classic. Oh, eh, I'll just have to go with this. You have to lock your closet. You can change your outfit at any time in the closet on the bottom left. Enjoy. I love it. Nothing can keep me from that party. Yeah. Okay. You are not going to that party. Don't you think I know what goes on at Noel cabin party? But the answer is no. Dad, please. Just consider it. I have, and my answer is the same. I don't want you going anything, doing anything that might put your future at risk. Can't you trust me? How can you ask me after you practically drove us out of Riverbank? And after what happened at Spencer's barn? Trouble seems to follow you around, Scarlet. Dad, please. It's more complicated than that. I don't want to talk about it. Ever since that night in Riverbank, you shut me out. Enough. Now go to your room. This is unfair. Spencer? Scarlet, how to go today with Brian? It was really good, but Spence, my dad won't let me go to Noel's. What? Why? He's being ridiculous. He says it's... Oh my god. Spence, I gotta go.
When Dad closes the door, I open a window. See you at the party.